Hi, I'm Christian Backey, and welcome to a Pontiac Intelligence Strategy Spotlight. Today, we're going to look at video and connected TV. Video campaigns are a great effective strategy to create brand awareness and also to drive traffic to your site. These campaigns deliver videos online and have extremely high click-through rates and high video completion rates. You can layer on a bunch of data, but for today, we're going to deliver this to a site list. First, we're going to start by creating our custom site list featuring political and popular news sites. We're going to look at CNN.com, Fox.com, BBC.com, Yahoo, and MSN. Once we've created our site list, we can upload our creative. Navigate to the advertiser and select New Creative. Then you're going to have two options. Either deliver the tag via an ad server, select Ad Server Tag Video, and you can run your vast tags through here. But for here, we're going to look at Hosted Video. Select Video from the drop-down menu, give your creative a name, enter your click URL, and then upload your desired video. These can be either 15, 30, or 60 seconds long. Once your video creative has loaded into the platform, press Save. Now that we have the video uploaded and the site list, we can create a new line item. On the line item creation screen, navigate to Inventory Type, and then select your desired inventory. Videos can be run through either web, or in-app, or connected TV. Since we're looking at regular video, we're since we're looking at online video, select web. Then select from your creative type, video. For your KPI, you can either use click-through rate or VCR, which is video completion rate. This will optimize the campaign to deliver to users who are watching the video all the way through. Now we can select the dates and our budget for the campaign. For more information on the setup settings, check out our other videos. For bidding on video campaigns, they typically are more expensive than display, so for this we're going to use a bid setup which has a $8 base bid and a $12 max bid. Remember, if you're using any data, make sure to add the data cost to the max CPM. In the targeting section, we're going to pick a couple exchanges that work extremely well for video. You can see these listed here, or check out our one-sheeter telling you which exchanges work best. Then layer in any geo, day parting, information that you're going to need, and then we're going to select that site list that we just built. Political and popular news sites. For this campaign, we're going to be only looking to deliver to desktop, laptop, and tablets, so we're going to remove mobile phones from delivery. For video campaigns, you'll have this additional feature selection. This is called video. This will describe how the ad is actually played in the environment it serves. We can either target pre-roll, post-roll, mid-roll, or outstream and then we can indicate the player size if we want large screen, medium screen, or small screen. Once you've set all of your targeting, press save and then select the video you want to deliver with this campaign. We're going to use the creative we just uploaded and next, pixels. For this campaign, we've built a landing page conversion pixel measuring any time a user reaches the landing page, essentially a click. For this campaign, we are going to deliver to a site list and a site list only, so we're not adding any additional audiences here. Next, we'll double and triple check all of our settings to make sure that they meet our criteria, and once it does, press Submit New Line. Now that your campaign is submitted, once your creative is approved, delivery will begin on those sites. Now that we have our video campaign set up, we'll be able to begin our CTV setup. Connected television is a great strategy for brand awareness. These are going to serve in non-skippable large placements on devices such as TVs, set-top boxes, and game consoles. Because they're not skippable, they have extremely high video completion rates, and we can partner this with our foot traffic reporting to see who saw the ad and if they actually entered a specific location. We like to run connected TVs through deals. These are private marketplace agreements with publishers that give us direct access to their inventory. To run CTV, we're going to request a couple deals from the inventory section. Use the catalog to find deals that you would like to use and then request access. Your account manager will grant you access if the creative is allowed to run on those places. And once so, you can use those to set up your campaign. We're going to use the same video, so we're going to go directly into the line item setup. For this, we're going to give it a name again, this time highlighting the fact that it's CTV. Then, from our inventory type, we're going to select CTV or Connected Television. This will automatically lock in the CTV creative type, and we can begin to pick our KPI. 
Again, we're going to use video completion rate. We're going to pick our dates here and then input a budget. Because CTV is more expensive, typically a higher lifetime cost is recommended. When buying CTV through deals, you need to be aware of the bid price. The highest bid price of those deals we selected was $38. For this, we're going to want to use a bid setup that ensures we're going to win inventory on those deals. For this, we'll use the base bid as the highest priced deal in the list and then give a little more room for cushion. We're going to input a $50 max bid. Now that our bids are set up, we can select any targeting we want to layer on. We're going to remove all exchanges and run this specifically through those deals. Select all the deals you wish to target and then layer in any geographic information, zip codes, day parting, and all of that. When we get to inventory, here's where we select the device types. By default, it'll be set to TV, game consoles, and set-top boxes. Next, we go to video to select our playback method. For this, we use pre-roll and mid-roll and outstream. Then, we're going to select large as our player size. Next, press save and then add your creative in. We're going to use that same creative, Pontiac Video number 1. We can't use a typical conversion pixel on connected TV campaigns, so we're going to jump right to audiences. For this, we recommend using audiences provided by either Xander or TrueOptic. These are audiences built specifically for the CTV environment and will have the most users available in CTV. Build the logic with all the audiences you've selected, and then it's time to double and triple check all of our settings. Once we're comfortable with all of our adjustments, press Submit New Line. Your CTV campaign is now active, and again, once that creative is approved, delivery will begin. Thanks for tuning in to this Pontiac Strategy Spotlight. Now you're going to be able to run video and CTV campaigns with ease. Check out next week's video, which will feature audio.